Hello, I'm Ramses Martinez, Associate Professor at the Industrial Engineering and Biomedical Engineering here at Purdue University. Welcome to my office hours. Hi, Professor Martinez. Uh, thank you for taking, taking the time to meet with me. How are you doing today? <laughs> doing pretty good. Thank you for coming. How yeah. can I help? There's a lot I can learn about you as a professor, you know, through your research, but I want to know more about what you do outside of school. Yeah, to know about me. So I, I was raised in Spain. I, I'm actually originally from Madrid. And uh, over there, I actually was under the strong influence of my grandpa. But my grandpa had this like idea of uh, like a, he was quite romantic in that uh, from that point of view, and he was like very medieval in terms of like the things that were useful for you to grow as yeah. a person. And uh, and the, one of the things that he was actually enforcing all of his uh, uh, like uh, niece and nephews will actually uh, learn from him would be uh, like. Uh, playing chess and, uh, and fencing because you needed to know how to defense and you needed to know how to think. I don't like know a lot about fencing but could you tell me more about kind of like how the technique works or what the objective yeah. of, objective? Um, I believe it is quite helpful for, uh, for real life because real life in my opinion uh, particularly when you're in college and uh, you want to stand out because you're at Purdue you, that is what is expected from you. Uh, fencing is all about like uh, my position, I want it to be as solid as possible, and at some point, my opponent uh, is either gonna open too much, is gonna give me an opportunity, will give me an opening. And then it's uh, like, if I'm well prepared enough to recognize that opening and react right away, then I will be able to actually like get, get a point. In real life, what's kind of the biggest opponent or challenge that you've had? We have a nice uh, poem in Spain that says that like, uh, uh, that the last words of the poem of a poet is what what do i do now this sense of like okay i need to make it right away otherwise like uh, people will not value me enough or like otherwise we, they will forget about me it's not only that you're competing you're competing with a temporal dimension that makes people forget about what you already did do you have any hidden talents that you'd like students to know about you when I arrived to the US, I had no money whatsoever. And uh, I was actually like, uh, you know, looking for alternative sources and, uh, and actually uh, like went to an audition. In Spanish, I'm quite good at uh, making voices. And, uh, and that is another thing that I got from, the, from something from the 90s that unfortunately got lost, which is like a uh, phone pranks. So I ended up like uh, serving as a voice actor for a course about like uh, learning Spanish. I put the voice to uh, like uh, at least two elevators and uh, and one GPS. Do you like studying systems? Where did that kind of like stem from, or where did when did you notice like that interest that you had? One of the things that happened to me when I was a kid is that my mom told me that she will never buy me more toys because all my toys were broken, and uh, my toys were broken because it was. I don't know what was in me, but I needed to know what was inside. Particularly if the toy was moving or if it had some lights inside or something. So since then, I, I, I am big into puzzles. I love playing chess. And, um, and I like fixing things, like uh, not only at home, but uh, also hacking. Um, <laughs> like at the lab, we, uh, like, uh, we hack like uh, smoke sensors in order to make wearable devices. Uh, and, uh, and at home, I, I am actually quite uh, like one of the things that I usually get for like birthdays is a lock without the key. So I can actually like, uh, like pick it and, and uh, you know, that's kind of like my puzzle. Um, and also uh, I, I, when, when my uh, son was like, uh, like very little, I, I actually made a, a monitoring system. So I could check if like my son was actually breathing. So I had him all the time under control. So he would not be able to crawl his way out or like that. So. That's really impressive. How often do you go back to Spain? And then also like whenever you're here, do you miss a lot? So uh, I have a three year old and uh, like, you know, the grandparents need to pet him. So uh, that means that like, uh, you know, every, every summer I take like a uh, like I would say around like two weeks to go there and visit all the people. And uh, yeah, and also if it can happen during Christmas, I also, if I have the opportunity, I, I, also, I also go and visit. Here in Lafayette, I have to say I miss the sun. 
because uh, yeah, <laughs> because I don't like Indian weather either. <laughs> I'm the kind of person that likes to walk outside a lot, and uh, and uh, you know this uh, when the weather is is not accompanying like uh, basically that's that becomes difficult. Does it affect you a lot if you maybe notice that like you know you have a student that's like not coming to class or not putting effort into the class? We are used to see your faces, and when somebody suddenly disappears or starts missing homeworks, we notice it. So it is a, it is a big deal going to class. I think you get a lot uh, a lot from that. You have the the opportunity also to to interact with professors that uh, genuinely dedicate their lives to teaching because that's what they like, and uh, also uh, basically all faculty members here. I, I noticed that we look at you as students as uh, as if you were our younger mirror like uh, because we definitely were in your yeah, shoes you like uh, like exactly and it was like 15 years ago like maximum so i think sometimes though with um students it's kind of hard to remember that because like you know we know that obviously to get to where you went you went through school too but then it's like when you go to class and then your professor gives you a really hard exam as a student you're really just thinking yo why are you giving me such a hard exam. Like, <laughs> why why are you, are you making easy? it so difficult yeah, why for are me? Yeah, making it so difficult? Yeah. Like, you went through this too, so don't you want to, you know, make it mm -hmm. a bit easier for me? I, I totally understand that, and I have uh, and I have conversations like that, like a once per semester, at least. So there are some things that uh, conceptually might not be the most interesting thing to, like, uh, to learn, but uh, they open many doors for you to understand other concepts. I am a former believer of, uh, of the fact that if you don't have a purpose for your life, you will not be able to live a meaningful life. Since you're at Purdue and you have so many opportunities to uh, try different things, uh, talk to your faculty members, uh, like ask for some guidance and, uh, and explore or figure out like what is that thing that resonates with you and that thing where you want to make a future impact.